How can you use arrays to find the factor pairs of a number? Think about this question during the lesson. The music director is trying to find the best way to arrange the chairs for a performance. The chairs must be arranged in a rectangular array. How many different ways can the chairs be arranged into a rectangular array? Use grids to show all the ways the chairs can be arranged. The problem states that the chairs must be arranged in a rectangular array. This means that there must be the same number of chairs in each row. Pairs of numbers multiplied together to find a product are called factor pairs. Think about multiplication to decompose a number into its factors. How is a rectangular array of 12 chairs related to factors of 12? In a rectangular array of 12 chairs, the number of rows and the number of chairs in each row are factors of 12. You can make one row of 12 chairs or 12 rows of one chair. 1 and 12 are factor pairs. Is it always possible to make arrays with one row? Is it always possible to make arrays with one item in each row? Yes, no matter how many items there are, you can always put all of them in one row or put one item in each row. You can also make two rows of six chairs or six rows of two chairs. Two and six are factor pairs. Is it always possible to make arrays with two rows or arrays with two items in each row? No, it is not always possible. For example, if you have five chairs, you would have one chair left over if you made an array with two rows. You can make three rows of four chairs or four rows of three chairs. Three and four are factor pairs. Is it possible to make an array with five rows using 12 chairs? No. Five rows leaves two chairs outside of the array, and five rows of three is too many chairs. So five is not a factor of 12. So there are six possible ways the 12 chairs can be arranged. The factors of 12 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. Now you know how to use arrays to find the factor pairs of a number.